half the reason I think I enjoy London so much is because of the job. Yeah, it's great life. I mean, it's fast paced. It's exactly the sort of lifestyle that I like to lead. Well, I'm from New York and I love New York. It's a land of opportunity. I'm usually up at six o'clock. Come out of my apartment and usually have a taxi. I'm out the door by 10 past six. You hop on the DLR in the morning and it's, uh, it's quiet. You find out quite a few people out that early in the morning. This is the city that never sleeps. I'll read the times on the, uh, on the way in the morning and see if there's any sort of issues happening in our particular market. I'm in the office about five to seven most mornings. I sit down at the desk and open up my terminal and, and start chatting to a few clients. And then it's go, really. At times, it can be busy the whole day, it can be slow the whole day. You know, that's the whole thing with the markets, you never know. Yep, that's it. Our clients are investment banks, and um, basically what we do is we, we, we try to, to gather information, we know who's got what, Three more? Five more. and uh, we know who wants what. You're done, you're done, I'm still bent. And we try and match these two up. It's like a jigsaw puzzle, putting the pieces together. Uh, I suppose in a sense we're matchmakers. The major difference between what we do as brokers and, and sort of investment banking or trading is risk. If you're on the investment banker side, taking home your, your whole position, still thinking about it. We take very little risk um, home with us. We don't take positions. When I leave at the end of the day, that's it. On to the next day, let's go. Yeah, risk is probably one of the larger differences between ICAP's broken world and uh, investment banking. It's more demanding here, but it's a more relaxed demand. There are periods throughout the whole day that are a little bit quieter than others. Then in those periods, you sort of talk to each other and try and create business. 21 and a half bid, mate. 21 and a half bid. On my desk, we've got six uh, guys, and we all work as a, uh, as a team. We all have roughly about six or seven clients each, so our communication on the desk has to be high. I can actually cover six accounts, and that's pretty big, you know, so it gets pretty intense, two phones to the ears, but you, uh, you get to talk about a lot. You spend eight hours with the guys, you know, eight, nine hours with the guys, you get to know them well, you know. It actually feels like a little small family. Everybody's on one level. So we seem to work all together on one accord, which I like a lot. It's like, we're here to do our job, let's do it. Come about 12 o'clock, that's where everyone sort of takes a break. We try and be back on the desk when the US market opens. If it's opened up significantly, either higher or lower, then yeah, it can kick off and, uh, and we can, that's our afternoon started, which is great. Three and three quarter minutes, as well. I think at first, you know, the shouting definitely gives you like, the price scale, like, what's going on here? Uh, but as time goes on, you get used to it, it becomes like second nature to you. You even yell yourself. We do work very hard, but uh, there are times, obviously, where you can have a bit of a laugh and a bit of a joke about, and which you know, makes our desk all the more fun. So if you're making money, nobody seems to bother. It's not all done in working hours, obviously. There is a lot of uh, entertaining to be done outside of the office. I love playing basketball. Um, I even have customers that actually love to play basketball and uh, we try to get up there and play. You, know. um, you forge those relationships over time, whether that be over, uh, over a dinner or socially, it's out having a drink. I'm out with at least one client, at least, you know, definitely at least once a week, you know. Sometimes I can be out like three times in a week, you know. As you become friendly with these guys, therefore you don't need to talk about work the whole time. And a lot of the time when you're out with them, you don't even bring up the subject. It is much more relaxed. I mean, you do talk a little bit about business and like how you can improve business and what can I do more. But you do, it is like a downtime, you know, for them. The better you get to know the client, obviously, the more they trust you and therefore the more information they're willing to give you. And if you do the correct trade for them, if you get things done for them, they make money, you make money. Um, that's how your relationships are built up. It becomes a friendship. You definitely need to be driven. You need to be team spirited. You need to be very energetic. And innovative, I mean, again, you've got to come up with ideas for, for your traders. You gotta also be enthusiastic, you know. You gotta be wanting to do it, you know. You gotta have the drive to actually want to do the job and know that, send that off to your customer knowing that you're gonna, you're gonna do the best thing for him. I wouldn't have dreamt of doing this, you know, three or four years ago. It's something that sort of, uh, the opportunity arose and I, I grabbed it with both hands and it seems to have worked out really well. So it's definitely a great career.